Yes. Help me buy milk. So this is um an early uh, there I bought the other game too. It's like milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. But this is milk inside a bag of milk. So <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> My name is Jamie. Actually, should I just yeah, you know what, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, dude. Hi, dude. Hi. Okay. What now? Jay. Enter. Sorry, I had to press enter. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. I wish I could have turned down the volume. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. <laughs> um. Oh, you're talking. talking. You're talking. Girl. Yeah. I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? True. Game. Well, you know, there are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought, if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blur out too much. Haha. -ha. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again, hello, can I get? Wow, that's a whole word more. <laughs> Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the I sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ugh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Ah! Uh, that's what I would say. No! Look, she's trying. Or they're trying. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. Wh what? My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? Huh? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. Hee hee hee. How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. You're so stupid. What is so mean? I... I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Uh, here we go again. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute, what do you mean step one? What then? But it's already the 52nd. Oh, wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 50th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay, step 50... Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so you will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Oh, face. Oh. Uh, excuse me, what? Oh. I, is that I can't tell what the the body is in the pixel art. Is that a body? 
I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, what? No. Oh. Excuse me, what? Bah! Excuse me, what? Bah! Oh my god, it just keeps getting bigger. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? What do you want me to do? Dude, I wanna... Hold on. Wait. No. Can I turn down the volume? Is that not a thing? <laughs> it's so loud. Okay. Oh. What do I do? Do I just... I think you just keep clicking through the dialogue. You think so? Well, what else is there to do? I guess so. Excuse me, what? Ugh. Excuse me, what? Ugh. <laughs> Cute. What? Ugh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? Oh. What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep it. Something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, that was pretty creepy. That was pretty creepy, actually. <laughs> so I'll just... <laughs> like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? No. <gasps> What? Duh. What? Oh my god. What? I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? <coughs> oh! My interlocu interlocutor shook and crawled away. I didn't even see my... <laughs> what was my... <laughs> I didn't even see it. You just repeated after him, and it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack, there are bags of milk. We both stand, and the milk lies. Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk? So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like... Not here. Not here? Take the bag and go to the cash register. You're getting on my nerves. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories. I sigh and reach out to take the milk. Or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather... A bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, oh my god. A bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up. I remember what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But they're... the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth, hehe. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get it at home again. <laughs> I'm on my way. Hello, can I get, get some milk, please?
You have it. Ah, uh, give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk too. Hi, can I... Can I have it, please? No. Please? No. But please, mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you? You're pathetic? Pay for oh, the milk. You are pathetic. No! <laughs> It's, okay, they may be a little bit, you know, but maybe she's just not paying for the milk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> really, what would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it in the cash register. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. Two days, man. I walk down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it, I just love the pyra pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station's getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. You're just a weirdo. <laughs> um, but I'm really interested. Because I don't understand it. Well look, the ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best, unless you want to drink more than eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. Yeah, I kind of... I wish I didn't ask now. Yeah. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. I see. I see. I feel movement under my feet, asphalt grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane. Gently, heel toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! No? Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. <laughs> it was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? Yeah. You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? You're the world sick. <laughs> is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Huh. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre way. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Huh? Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? Dot dot dot. Hmm.
that's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth? What? No. What truth? No, she, she doesn't want to accept the truth, Bubs. <laughs> Just accept it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. No, yup. What's happening? Looks like Jamie doesn't help me at all. Oh? I guess I'll try something else next time. What? Did I die? Did she kick me out of her brain? Hey, are you schizo? Am I schizo? Again? Oh, that's creepy. Okay, I hope we can do it this time. Okay. What are you gonna do now, Jamie? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, she really did not want to accept the truth, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> the pills have nothing to do with it. Yeah, hey, what is it? It's like changing. What the fuck? No, it's, it's the same. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. It could hurt your recovery <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> um, if you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hand and place a thought block. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. Haha, <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No. Please capitalize it, you're ruining the narrative. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I'm not really surprised. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and rude to you. Haha. <laughs> what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since <clears throat> something happened, all I see is red. Red, blood, everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Okay. I'm serious. 
Of course you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? Yeah! I won't waste time. What do you see? What do you see, Lips? I kind of see... I see like a torso of a person. The head's still on. Well, that's morbid. What do you see? A that's what I see. Red blob. <laughs> that's what I see. Yeah, so it, it looks like a torso with like the arms chopped off. Huh? And then, like, there's only like a little bit of the torso left. Oh, you mean this white part? Yeah. Oh, red blob torso? Oh, God. Red... What do I say? Red torso? Anyway... This is my dad. Oh. Huh? Some of his parts, at least. Oh. We do have a very difficult family, but despite all the problems, I ne never would have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. Oh, well, loves you were right. This is my last memory, then a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? Haha. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way... It seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> she took out the, the box. And yet I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know, day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference any between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you. You can't... That was very rude of you. Why? Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. Okay. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? Huh? When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing, repeating this action every day like a ritual. I stop being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. <clears throat> they create a terrible dissonance in my head. <clears throat> I turn around and go to my apartment. The fuck? That's a face. Did you bring the mail? Hi, Mom. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's gotta be Mom, bro. Did Creepy. you bring the mail? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yeah. 
Yes, Mom. Oh, kind of creepy. Was that it? 